Hey guys, stick tricks, let's talk about them. As you guys are all aware, I love stick tricks. I've been super obsessed with performing stick tricks and learning stick tricks ever since I started watching Luke Holland way back in the day. Despite all of these years of playing, I only really actually perform three different types of stick tricks. I just perform those types in combination with each other to try and make each sequence look as cool as possible. However, this video is not about how to perform stick tricks. I already have a video explaining how to perform the stick tricks that I pull off. If you want to check out that video, there's a link in the description below. This video is also not intended as a reply to some of the comments I get telling me to stop performing stick tricks. While I read and I try to reply to every comment that you guys post, I do at the end of the day have to have my own style. And my style happens to include stick tricks. So I do apologize to those of you who aren't a big fan of stick tricks, but it's not something I'll be stopping anytime soon, which I'm sure comes as good news for those of you who really enjoy watching me perform the stick tricks that I do. Today, I'm gonna tell you why stick tricks are important and how stick tricks can benefit you in your own playing. There's two reasons why stick tricks are important. The first reason I'm going to start off explaining by playing a clip from the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. And you have no case on your phone, no. so you're a risk taker. Right. Uh, no. So you can think of it as risk taking or when I got the phone, because I, I admire how thin this is. Right. I'd like technology mm -hmm. yeah. serving Sleek. me. Okay. So what I did when I got the phone, I said, let me do this with it. Okay. Flip it around. Yes. Okay. And I reminded myself, why do uh, in in the military cadets, why do they twirl their gun? Of what possible value is this in combat? Why do they do these things with their gun? And then I realized, you're not supposed to drop your gun, ever. Mm. Ever. So if you twirl the gun and you don't drop it, it means stuff can happen to you in combat and it is always attached to your body. Ah. So I said to so when I got my phone, I said, let me just do this. Okay? Let me just do this. If I pick up the phone and oh. Drop, dropped it. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So when you do that, then you never drop your phone. So it's not that I'm a risk taker, it's that I've changed my risk to make changed. it so low that it essentially won't happen. And you got Apple Care. <laughs> Did you get Apple Care? I, I, no. Wyatt, Neil's talking about his cell phone and guns. Yes, I know he's talking about his cell phone in that case, but the core concept of what he's talking about does relate to stick tricks and really is the first reason in why stick tricks are so important. Twirling, tossing, catching, spinning, sticks, cell phones, or guns all ensures that you will not drop that item in the future and helps to develop an overall sense of where your sticks are in physical space at all times around you. Pro athletes, depending on their sport, oftentimes will take their basketball, their football, their soccer ball, with them wherever they go. When I was younger and playing football, I was playing as a receiver, so good ball handling. No, that's gonna be made fun of for sure. <laughs> when I was younger playing football as a kid, I was advised to do the same thing with my footballs. So for a long time, I went everywhere with a ball in my hand. In the car, going to the store, in the halls and classrooms of my school, and even sitting beside me while I played video games, even though that really does defeat the purpose. <laughs> stick tricks really do help with finger control and strength, especially stick tricks like the helicopter, a trick that requires your pinky and ring finger to do a lot of work at the end of the trick, spinning the stick back through those two fingers and up into your stronger finger. I use stick tricks in all of my warm-ups because performing stick tricks while warming up helps the blood flow increase to my hands and loosens up my fingers. If I'm playing a show in a cold outdoor environment, or if it's a venue with no heat, or if it's a studio that's on the colder side, stick tricks during the warm-up do quite literally help to warm up my hands. If you have a background in drumline, you are well aware on how much stick tricks are stressed in drumline. Snare drummers online will have to learn dozens of different types of tricks, and when they the time comes, they will have to perform those tricks in time with one another. And the reason why drumline drummers do this are the same two reasons why I'm stressing stick tricks to you in this video. If you want perfect control and awareness while at the drums, adopting your sticks as extensions of your limbs will come through years of rigorous traditional practice as well as learning a handful of stick tricks. Second reason why stick tricks are important simply comes down to their entertainment factor. Odds are the audience that you are performing to at 
at whatever gig or whatever sort of performance setting you are in. That audience, unless you're performing to a group of drummers at NAMM, your regular audience doesn't really understand what's going on. They can interpret on a subconscious level the groove that you're pulling off and the feel behind it, and they can feel that and move to that rhythm. But appreciating exactly what's going on behind the kit, from the ghost notes that you're pulling off, to the fills, to the double kick line you're performing on your feet, most people don't really get it. But there's one thing that every audience member will be able to appreciate, understand, and will entertain them. And that's really well executed stick tricks. Because of that, having stick tricks as part of your professional portfolio gives you a place in a lot of performance instances and makes you more of an in-demand drummer. One of the highest viewed drum videos in the history of YouTube was not published by Travis Barker, it was not published by Neil Peart, it was not published by Thomas Lang or Luke Holland. It was published by a cover band performing classic rock songs at a wedding. Some of you may know exactly what I'm talking about. The reason why this video got so big was because of the crazy amount of stick tricks that the drummer was pulling off. I mean, yes, he was performing those stick tricks in a very inappropriate setting for the tricks, but still, the concept is there. People love to watch that video because it's so entertaining to see that drummer pulling off all these crazy tricks while behind the kit playing kick, snare, kick, snare. And at the end of the day, that's undeniable. That audience, that platform that was built around that video is undeniable because of those stick tricks. Oftentimes, as a metal musician, if I branch outside of metal and I go perform to other different genres, I forget that I'm not performing to a group of musicians anymore because so frequently in metal music, your audience are other musicians. When you go and play for other genres, you no longer have the luxury of everybody in the crowd understanding exactly what's going on. So stick tricks really help to just up that level of entertainment in a relatable, understandable way for all to get. So in wrapping up this video, I just want to mention that I take stick tricks to the next level. You don't need to perform a stick trick on every single cymbal hit like I do in some of my videos. You don't necessarily need to even perform with stick tricks to experience some of the positive benefits to your playing that will come with all the things that I mentioned in the first reason why stick tricks are important. You can just learn stick tricks and not even perform them and just have them as part of your practice routine. I will say too, on a personal note, some of the times when I do have a video filled with stick tricks is because that video is an easier song. Usually I will use easier songs at times that I just learned a harder song. So if I learn a harder song, it typically will take me maybe a day or two extra to get that cover ready and prepared to post. And because of that, I'll have to learn a simpler song so that I can learn it in less time so that I can continue to upload at my weekly schedule. And those simpler songs, I fill with tons of stick tricks because why not? I don't know. I'm just having fun during the cover, filling it with those tricks. That's kind of what's going on there, especially for the easier songs. An example of this would for sure be Scars by I Prevail. I went way over the top with stick tricks in that cover. So in conclusion, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that this helped you think maybe a little bit differently about stick tricks and inspired you to start learning some and incorporating them in your own practice routine. Thanks so much for checking this out. I was really stoked with the reactions that I got to this beginning of my hands series. Episode one did really well and I'm really stoked to film episode two as well. There will be a series called feet. So all of you that are requesting a feet series, breaking down fundamentals of double kick and all the different techniques that I use, I will have that in the future. Thank you so much again. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. If you'd like to connect with me further, you can do so at any of my social media pages. There are links to those on the screen for you now. Thanks so much. I will see you guys very soon with something new.